Hey, what's up guys? Bearcat here. Doing another exciting episode of Bearcat Reviews. Today we're taking a look at the DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys Justice League Snyder Cut film Aquaman figure. And I gotta say guys, I'm very excited to review this figure for you guys. Um, enjoyed Aqu the Aquaman movie and I enjoyed the um, J Snyder Cut movie and J I thought M Jason Momoa's portrayal of Aquaman was very, very good. But uh, taking a look here at the packaging, guys, to start us off, you can see here is Aquaman in the window. It says Aquaman, shows the Justice League Snyder Cut logo there. Inside here says Aquaman. Back, you got the art image of him here. This side, you see it says Aquaman, Justice League, shows the logo again up here. And there's not much else at the top or at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack open this figure. So here is Aquaman out of the packaging. I gotta say, guys, this is an amazing figure. I'm really liking the design of this figure. Uh, it just looks really well. This armor design, I really like how it looks. Uh, the only problem I have is that the Jason Momoa head sculpt, sculpt looks like Jason Momoa, but with how the Gal Gadot one looked a lot more like her than this one. I mean, it kind of looks like Jason Momoa, but I think they could have done better. But um, anyways... Guys, taking a look here, as you can see, though, this armor sculpt has got, like, this the funky Atlantean fish scales and the Aquaman logos all over. They did a very nice job making this armor. Um, as you can see here. But, uh, so, to continue on, though, we'll start with his accessories. Uh, as you can see, he comes with the classic DC stand, like all the DC McFarlane figures do. Has the DC logo on it and everything, and you can just peg it right into his foot there, like that. Comes with the Aquaman card with the art that you saw on the back of the box, and a little read up on the back of the card. So if you want to read it, you can pause it right now. And then for the last accessory, where Batman came with a Batarang and Wonder Woman came with the two lasso pieces, Aquaman comes with his Quindent. And I will say Quindent because I was corrected once when I said Trident. Uh, because it doesn't have three spikes, it has five, so it's a Quindent. But, uh, anyways, guys, as you can see, he can hold that in his hand pretty well. Uh, the one weird thing, though, is the Quindent is rubber, so you can see, like, and everything. So, like, wheels around. I mean, I find that kind of weird. It worries me that if... You have it lean or being held in his hands the wrong way. It could end up getting warped like that. And that's my only fear I have with this being all rubber. But it still looks very nice. Very much like the one in the movie. But So now we'll take a quick look at Aquaman's posability. So as you can see, he's got a ball joint for the head here. And of the neck it looks like. So he can look up that far, but not really far up because of his hair. And look down that far. Uh, he has these shoulder pads that are rubber, so they move up, and his arms can rotate 360. He has butterfly joints to move forward and back. Uh, arms can move up that far and down this far. Bicep swivels, double joint elbows. Um, these gauntlets are rubber, so they can move, but I don't think they're supposed to. So, And then the hands can move up and down, or if you rotate it around, it can move side to side. Uh has a diaphragm joint and a waist joint here, so he can crunch forward that far and back that far. And swivel around at those joints. Uh, legs can kick forward that far. Back not very far. Legs can spread out pretty far. Has a little bit of swivel, but not very much. Uh, he has double joint knees. Ankles that move down and up. And he does have ankle pivot. And lastly, he has a toe bend. So that's really it for the posability on Aquaman here. But now we'll get them all set up to do some size comparisons. So here is Aquaman. And as you can see, he is standing at just under, or exactly, seven and a half inches tall. And for your size comparisons, here he is next to the last few reviews. We have the armored Batman figure, the Wonder Woman figure from 1984, Wonder Woman 1984, excuse me, some other McFarlane figures, we have him next to Deku, Ooh Ravity, Atari exclusive Flashpoint Batman, and the 
McFarlane and DC Comics Red Hood figure. And for your basic six inch gut comparison, here he is next to Target exclusive Arc Trooper Echo. Studio Series Hot Rod. Toy Fair exclusive Snake Eyes, the deluxe version. And Star Wars Clone Wars Black Series, Captain Rex. So you can see how they all scale together. And here is Aquaman in a sweet action pose. And I gotta say, guys, this is an amazing figure. I highly recommend getting this figure if you're a fan of the Just Justice League Snyder Cut movie. Or if you're a fan of the live action films, definitely recommend getting Aquaman here, guys. But uh, anyways, guys, like I said, you are uh, actually, because he is a main release figure, guys. He is available everywhere. Uh, but anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys again for watching this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know if it's something you want to see reviewed. And I'll try to get it in a review for you guys. Also, guys, please share the video. Let your friends know about the channel so they can come over and view the content, too. Uh, remember, when you guys subscribe, to hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified for the next episodes of Bearcat Reviews. And like I said, guys, thank you again for watching from start to finish. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Bearcat Reviews.